Then I wanted to make a little video of how much things cost in Australia at the supermarket if you're traveling with kids, babies. And I've opened up three pages of the three supermarkets. And I'll also have a quick look at camping equipment at the end to see how much it's going to cost to plan and, and do your family trip around Australia. I've made other videos on how much campsites cost and you can get wonderful resorts for $25, $30 a night um, when it's not school holidays, but a lot more when it's school holidays. But this is focusing on the food and this is Aldi supermarket. Quick overview to start with. You do shop in Australia by law. Um, everything has to have how much it costs by volume. And these little things down here, it's 17.99 per kilo, 81 cents per 100 grams, 43 cents per 100 grams. This will tell you how much things cost. The labeling laws aren't always the best and not everything is always on the labels, but a lot of things do have a few overviews, baked beans, 85 cents, uh, minced meat. This is four star minced meat premium, 10.99 a kilogram. I see mints from about five to about $15 for premium mints. You may call it hamburger where you come from. And these are nappies, 43 cents per pant per pants or 99, $9.99 for a packet of 23s. You might call those diapers where you're from as well. Then we often think Aldi, it's a German company. We often think it's probably the cheapest in Australia and uh, it works for us. Typically looking at baby stuff at Aldi stuff. There's diapers, 15 cents per nappy, formula. Looking at laundry needs at Aldi, 29 cents per wash, 6 cents wash for this one. How do you compare them? You can always get an Earth Choice one, usually. Then, while Aldi's the cheapest, the Australian supermarkets tend to stock a lot more stuff. They've been around a lot longer. And... Um, this is an online shopping website, then the prices are a little bit higher than you would find if you actually walked into the into the supermarket. But you can probably go online, I'll put links on our website to this site, and then you can see the price of things that you want to look at. Um, but you can see here, free, free range chicken is $8.25 for a free range. It's probably about half that for a regular chicken. Um, bacon's a little bit different in Australia. It has like, the big bit in the end and it often has the rind my canadian wife really doesn't like australian bacon um i guess a loaf of bread here will cost that's that's one loaf there that'll cost 85 cents cheap and nasty it's full of canola oil and stuff like that and and soy but if you had to you can buy a loaf for 85 cents we usually get the sourdough for about five dollars not that we are especially absorbent or anything but a little bit concerned about health. Looking at fruit and vegetables at Coles and bananas, I can't work out. It's like this is an online site and it can sort of tell you that they're adding one serve of broccoli, which is 340 grams, 170, 180 grams of bananas, 54 cents. Bananas are usually about, we pay $1.50 a kilo at the markets, but they're probably $3 a kilo at the supermarket. And I'll leave you to have a look at those. Sweet potatoes, 350 grams for $2.10. 200 gram server mushrooms is that much. About $10 for $10 a kilogram for mushrooms. Sorry, I speak in kilograms. I am not doing pounds. It's too much for my head to work it out. We actually picked up at a roadside stall two watermelons for $5. Great big ones. But at the supermarket, a good deal is about 70 cents in the summer, 70 cents per kilo, and up to about three or four dollars when they're out of season. In the meat section, you'll find, um, oh, it says at the top, $11 per kilogram for RSPCA, which is the animal welfare sort of chicken mince per kilo, um, $18 per kilo for free range skin on chicken breast fillets. Chicken breasts, $15 a kilo. Gravy beef, $14 a kilo. Fresh Atlantic salmon, 
um, $25 a kilo. Australia actually grows a lot of salmon in Tasmania. And if you don't mind that they're adding dyes and things like that to the to the salmon, you it's about the same price. But they won't tell you that it's not really a pristine product, the farm salmon in Australia. Lean mints, $16 a kilo. Lean mints, $14 a kilo. There's probably some three-star mints, $9 a kilo, and it'll keep going down. Then it's Christmas time. And my video got a bit out of sync while I was on the online website. Then I thought I'd go to the catalog and have a look at the catalog. Let's have a look. It's Christmas time in Australia. Then these are some of the things for sale. Fish is always a big part of the Aussie Christmas. Seafood is a big part. It's nice and warm here at Christmas time, obviously. <clears throat> Ham. It's mostly only giving us high sugar orange juice, some Australian cheeses. There's a, you can see there what's, what's around, some dips. We a uh, sweet dessert called pavlova, which is made with egg whites and beaten up and it goes with sugar and it makes a nice crust. That's a popular one at Christmas time in Australia. Unfortunately, we don't have a sugar tax, then all these things are not taxed. You can see the price of all these things. Some normal groceries here. It's actually a reasonable price for coconut oil. Breakfast cereals, coffee. I actually get my coffee from Aldi. I get the, there's a um, fair trade organic one for about $4 a packet that lasts a week or two. The milk alternatives, about $2 each. Can cost more. I think we're back to the start, are we? Not quite. $2.82 for blueberries. Those ones, that brand's from China. And they had hepatitis A on them. They had a recall recently. They're probably fine though. Yeah. You can get your telephone in Australia. You can get a prepaid phone or a data phone. And um, you'll need one that works with the zone here, obviously. You're probably not likely to bring your pet with you if you go camping around Australia. All right, toilet paper, 17 cents for 500 sheets. I'll have to tell my wife about that one. That's a pretty good deal. She's more likely to do the shopping this week. Um, Wolf Blast Wines, it's a pretty classy wine, really. And $7 a bottle. Might have to pick some of that up. Champagne's Jacob's Creek is seven dollars a bottle. Oh. Glad I looked at this and did this video today. What's this now? That's all. We're gonna have a look at Woolworths next. I like the catalogue idea. Maybe we should do the catalogue there too. All right then, then Woolworths does also have a catalogue, then we'll open that up. But I noticed this too, they have a free click and collect and a delivery service. 
But this rewards card here, I'll circle it, is probably something that you do want to have. Like, because it will give you $10 off here and there of, of a shop. Um, like here, it's going to give you $10 off if you buy $100 worth of groceries online and delivered or picked up in store. But also, it'll help you save with gas. It's their way of having all your life history and data. And then, yeah, then there's a payoff for them. But, um, yeah, you'll save four cents a litre on gas, and it's probably the cheapest gas station anyway. Then that's probably why you're, where you'll end up getting your gas from. Then this is uh, I've typed in put in my postcode and I'll have a look at there's two catalogs here one for my local store and this looks like general all across Australia the prices do vary a little but not hugely with Woolworths and Coles even if you're like in the outback they're probably not that much more pretty similar to Coles really. All right, can't see any great specials. $19 a kilo is great for shrimp. Big part of the Australian Christmas are the prawns. We don't call them shrimp here. I did that for you. Mm. A few roasts. Free range chicken at Coles is $5.50. Then I think that's better than uh, well, was 550. I think that's better than Coles at the moment. But I think Aldi's are like 490 for a free range chicken. Different quality hams. Some of the hams, cold ham, is a big part of the Australian Christmas too. Some of them are, have the the smoke poured on them. The really cheap ones, but that one's probably really smoked. Find lots of different sausages in your supermarket. I'll go through a bit faster. Mangoes are associated with Christmas. All the stone fruits associated with Christmas. Then you know all about it if you're here in the summertime. But in the wintertime, you'll find all the stone fruit. And there's fresh produce year-round in Australia. There's the north where it's warm. In the wintertime, where most of their produce grows actually in the winter in the north. And most of it's local and There you go, cream. I guess if I do the catalog, we're trying to appeal to everyone, then you might see what you buy. Some baby stuff, I'll slow down. Of course they have their phones as well. I uh, can't see what brand that is. Telstra is if the most expensive phone carrier. It's quite substantially more, but if you're going into the little, like into the Outback a lot, you'll probably want a Telstra phone. If you're going into the Outback a little bit, you'll probably want an Optus phone. And if you're only staying in the city, then you can go with one of the cheaper ones. We we'll use Optus. Always has their own bottle shop as well. They have a Jacobs Creek Chardonnay for seven dollars. All right, I think we finished. Then, say you want to get yourself set up with a camping rig. If you want a really quite flimsy tent, you could head to Kmart. It's kind of like our version of Walmart. It's different to the American Kmart. It's also Big W, which is a little more expensive and discount stores and camping shops. But um, Kmart will get you set up with something very basic, like a $100 tent. You could buy a couple of $20 air mattresses and travel around that at the bottom end of the market. You could get yourself a $80 marquee, which will probably break in the first, first time you put it up. But it does get hot and sunny in Australia, then something like the heavy duty ones, which are about 150, will keep the sun off your tent and provide you a little space to enjoy your meals. 
you could buy a few camp chairs and then leave them when you leave. Get a few cheap sleeping bags depending on where you're going. Or you could go to a dedicated camping store and get a more upmarket tent for about $350 there. Because we live here, we can wait around for the sales a bit more and pay a little bit less. But um, there you go, $240 for a four-person tent. Some unusual looking swags and things. There's an unusual looking tent. Oh, that's a camping cot where you can camp outside. They're quite popular here. I'm not sure you want to go and buy fridges and stuff. There you go. There's a four person tent for 130. That will probably um, not do too badly if you put a tarp over the top of it to keep the rain out. And some clearance sort of things here. Tents to three hundred dollars, as you'd expect. All you have to do is find. This is a Ray's outdoor store, but there's Ray's outdoors and BCF are in practically every major center, and you can get everything there. But often it is a little bit expensive. A single air mattress is fifteen dollars, and there you go. Um, we do other reviews of different prices and what things cost. Drop by to My Family Vacation Ideas, see our trips around Australia. You want to know how much things cost or some other travel hacks about traveling in Australia? Drop by and we'll let you know.